Be back at four o'clock. Go ahead. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode and as many of you guys know one of my favorite things to film on this channel is tournament fishing but in the state of Michigan here we cannot fish tournaments until Memorial Day weekend. That's when the season opens up, that's when you can keep bass, put in the live well, fish tournaments, all that good stuff but obviously it's April right now and we are not doing that quite yet and actually I think that this video is filmed back in March but this is a tournament fishing video so it should be a good one. I know you guys like them a lot, like I said they are my favorite ones to film and uh, we headed down to Indiana so we could fish a tournament get it on camera for you guys and there was like 20 boats fishing this thing too so it should be a good video this lake's got giants in it i'm gonna stop rambling but before we jump into the video though we have to talk about today's video sponsor really really quick in today's video sponsor as you guys could probably see above my head here is mystery tackle box we got another box right here uh, mystery tackle box is the original subscription tackle box service and you get all sorts of goodness shipped right to your doorstep so let me just show you a couple of things in here you get yourself a Guggen Squad Bloop. If you guys watched my last video, I caught a fish that was like six pounds on this thing in April in the state of Michigan. So awesome popper. You get some little hard hat jigs, shaky heads, which would pair up perfectly with the uh, Biospawn Plasma Tails that you also got in the box. This right here is a really sweet swim jig by Excite Baits, which I've never tried this, and that's another cool thing about Mystery Tackle Box. You get a lot of baits that you've never used before, and it's just a chance to try out some new things. So first box, $9.99. That link is gonna be in the description if you wanna use my code. Uh, you could get that first box for a nice discounted rate. So $9.99, you get like $20 to $30 worth of baits, and there's, even, there's more stuff in here too. So all sorts of crazy baits, stuff you haven't used before, stuff that you know that works, but check that out the link down below and without further ado let's jump in to the fishing be back at four o'clock go ahead So we pull up to the first spot of the day, we're throwing everything at them, blade baits, chatter baits, jerk baits, just trying to get that first keep of white in the boat. Got him. Little. Super little. Not a keeper. Well, we just switched up to that little Guggen Squad Scout. I had a couple short strikes on the uh, Biospawn Rattlebot. There are boats all around us too, so we're going to be pretty quiet all day. But first little fish in the boat, got to be 14 inches. This one's like a 12, so not going to keep. But slowed down with the jerk bait and starting to see some progress here. Starting to get a couple bites. Right off the bat, we caught that one short fish on a jerk bait. We go like an hour without another bite, and then we start to freaking crank them. Got him. Can't get the net, can't get the net, but you gotta watch the rod. There we go. There you go, buddy. Fish number one of the day. Yep. There we go, this number one. That was terrible. Oh, the live wells are still doing that stupid thing where they fill all the way to the flipping brim. Mine's a good one too, dude. Mine's a big one. Get him, get him, get him. Nope, come in. Here, take this. Just toss him in there. Toss him, toss him. 
this is where things get kind of dicey because as you can see there's boats everywhere there's like 20 boats on a 200 acre lake and on top of that this lake's only got two deep spots so pretty much everyone's just going around in like a little carousel it's fishing very very small and at this point everyone kind of hunkered down in their one little location so we're fishing on this one spot and we're basically making the same cast over and over and over and we can't leave that spot because there's nowhere else to go and also if we leave it someone else is probably going to roll up on that spot and maybe catch one or two fish that we miss so we're sitting on this one spot we caught four fish back to back to back like you guys just saw we're looking for number five and we're basically making the same cast for about an hour until this happens Number five, sorry. I think that might be the limit, boys and girls. We have been casting at the same about five yards of shoreline for about an hour. We had the three back to back to back and then nothing. Chris, take over for a sec here. We're gonna wanna hop up here. I'll have to bump this one probably. Oh yeah, 14 and a half inch or all day. That is number five, guys. That is a limit in the box. Got him? Yeah, he's coming right at me. Is he small or? Oh, it's going. Oh my god. <laughs> Wee! There we go. That's kind of small. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I thought it was bigger than that. She might help a little bit though. She crushed it, man. There you go. Got one. Small. Oh my gosh. That's not a keeper. What are you doing there, guy? You're eating the chatterbait like you're all big and tough. Jeez. We need a freaking kicker. We only got like an hour and a half left. Got our limit, had our limit for the past like four hours, but have not really been able to make any upgrades at all. Been very, very tough to get that kicker bite. Usually out here, you can catch like a four or five pounder. We have just not run across any big ones today. I caught that last short fish and then Chris caught one more keeper that was like a two pounder and for some reason the GoPro wasn't going but helped us out a little bit like a quarter pound coal. We fished for like another hour, no more bites and like I said the whole lake had been picked apart and we basically just could not go anywhere because there was another boat sitting on that spot so this tournament didn't really fit into our style of fishing. We like to run and gun and uh, this was a lot of sitting in one spot making the same exact cast. It was definitely a mental game out there but we headed to the weigh-in <laughs> to see where we were going to end up in this tournament. Yep, that's it. Five? Yeah, sure is. <laughs> Anything bigger than 6'2? Absolutely not. Whoa, there's a 6'2 in? Jeez. Just wait in. 6'2 in. Easy bite. Easy bite. Just wait in. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> As you guys just heard, we ended up with a little bit over 11 pounds. I think that we ended up in like sixth place out of 20 or so boats. So solid showing for the first derby of the year. Like I said, just kind of didn't fit our style. We never got a kicker bite. And uh, as you guys probably heard, there were some big bass caught in this tournament. Um, only 17 something won it, but they had a fish over six pounds and then 16 pounds something was in second place and they had a six pounder as well but huge shout out my buddies thomas and aj they won the tournament with 17 whatever the heck they had and uh thomas caught his pb which was like a 6-3 i think they they had second big bass actually uh but they caught every single one of those fish on a guggen squad catch co clutch lipless crankbait I used to throw in the bluegill pattern and I think that they caught like eight or nine keepers it sounded like throughout the day. Uh, they had that six, they had another like four plus pounder and then they had all like two pounders or whatever they filled their bag with. But huge shout out to them for the win and uh, really, really awesome to see the catch coat bait get it done too. So the fact that he caught them all on the Guggen Squad clutch is unreal because we threw a lipless quite a bit and I did not catch a single fish. I think I had like two fish slap uh, the biospawn rattlebot is what I was throwing but I think that they were throwing it a little bit deeper too. I was throwing it up on those grass flats and it just never really worked for us. So Chatterbait and the Jig were the deal for us, but had a great tournament, fun to get back out there and fish a tournament, even though, like I said, Michigan season is still closed, but opening up pretty soon, we might head down to Indiana too. I don't know, might fish another tournament down there, but 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm rambling way too much, but I had a fun time out there. Check out Mystery Tackle Box, today's video sponsor. Get your first one for $9.99. All of that is gonna be linked down below, but I'm done talking. I will catch you guys in the next video.